Man, Franking post Phantom Knight is gonna be so crazy. It's gonna be so crazy. Yo, yo, Rod, what's up, bro? Ah, yeah. I was actually just talking about how crazy Fire King gonna be post Phantom Knight, bro. <laughs> what? What? You, you having a panic? Panic about what? What, bro? What? There's no way us budget players are gonna uh, content. Nah, bro. Calm down, my guy. Calm down. Nah, bro. We have ways of dealing with this. We are all good. Yeah, I know. Okay. The boards are all crazy and the graveyard is stuck. I know, I know. Ah, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Have you heard about Soul Release? Soul Release, yeah, Soul Release, yeah. That, yeah. Naked chick on, on the card, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. She's about uh, 7 out of 10. She's, she's not bad, she's not bad. Yeah. Ah, getting distracted, bro. Yeah, it banishes 5 cards out of the graveyard. Five cards out of the graveyard. You, you know what I mean. That we can get rid of Grunix. Grunix is the headaches. If we can get rid of Grunix, we are all good. Most of these guys play one copy of Grunix anyway. I don't know why they play one copy of Grunix. If we can get rid of Grunix, we are good. We can also get rid of Princess. Yeah, Princess is also nuts. We can get rid of Princess. Get rid of Princess. Get rid of, rid of Grunix. We are feeling good. There are some other cards we can have from the graveyard because most times they will have the avatar in their graveyard, which they plan to special summon, which gives them the monster negation. That's out of the way. You can get rid of the Fire King Sky Burn. Yeah, it protects them from destruction. Yeah, I know. They, they want to get destroyed, but sometimes they, they want to protect themselves too from sudden destruction. <laughs> yeah, I know, bro. We are all good. So there's no reason to park it. By any chance, can your deck play Necro Valley? Yeah, because if Necro Valley is on the field, any effect you remove a card from the, in the graveyard is nigga. Nah, nah, you can't play Negro Valley. All right, that's fine, Mike. That's fine. We have budget cards like Dimensional Fusion. Any monster sent to the graveyard is banished. Any monster sent to the graveyard. These guys do not want to mess with a graveless Yu Gi Oh! game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Nah, it's not effective enough. All right, so what, what do you think about Marcos? Marcos can banish all of them. Yeah, I know. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished so that means we are gonna deal with the grunix which we all hit all these sinful spoil cards because all these cards you know they have to have graveyard effects you know they have graveyard effects that, that, that that's quite crazy get rid of the brown nah brown because all these cards have to get destroyed and sent to the graveyard so if they're not in the graveyard we are all fine all the snake eyes sinful spoil cards need graveyard we <laughs> yeah nah, what no, okay, all right, all right. Okay, main deck cards. Okay, I all can understand. These can't be main deck. Okay, okay, they can't play. All right, all right. What, okay, what, 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 what do you think about dimensional, diamond, um, different dimension round? Any cards in the graveyard is banished. You, you can render in your deck, right? Any card, I'd like it, you can render in your deck. All right, if that's even too much, we have call by the grave. Okay, I call by the grave is that one, but bro, you have a card that can negate and banish. Bro, oh my goodness, that's like having your cake and eating it okay yes it had one but what one is better than none come on bro right, you know what slap some diddy crow in it slap diddy crow doesn't need it but it banishes and it banishes any card it doesn't have to be a monster bro we want to get rid of some of this card sinful spoiled cards the gronix we, we want to get rid of the princess we want to get rid of these cards and prevent the deck from going. So Diddy Crow is one of the best cards you want to have. You want to see this card in your hand going first, going second, going never. Bro, you want to slip with this card in your hand? Yeah, I, I know. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let, let's, all right. Okay, what about Karma Click? I know, it's a very old card. You discard a card, you target one face up once on the field, you open a control, you banish that target. But that's not all, right? Because you know this guy. In case they're playing multiple copies of Grunix, in case they're playing multiple of Phonics, and you know Phonics is the graveyard multiple, this card also banishing all card names we in the graveyard with the same name. I know, Kama Cut. Oh my goodness, bro. Nah. All right, uh, Floodgates, power Floodgate for you. Soul Drain, pay 1,000 life points. Monsters that are banished, as well as monsters in the graveyard, cannot activate their effect. What do you think about that one? <laughs> Bro, I think this guy's a... Nah, you want to play no flood game? Alright, okay, okay, calm down, bro. Calm down, okay, I know. The boards are oppressive, I know. But what's great about the boards, most times they are not going to have a magic and trap negation. Most times they are not. So, in your draw phase, you're gonna activate silent graveyard. We're gonna silent the graveyard. Yeah, I know, I know, bro, I know. There, there's, 
the, the cat's going outside. Prevent the cat from going outside, please. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bro. I, I adopted two kittens and bro, these cats are so troublesome. <laughs> these cats are like, oh my. Alright, without seeing silent graveyard, yeah, we're gonna neutralize the effect of the graveyard. All monsters, all activation activated in the graveyard, I mean effect, sorry, are negated. So, you know, during the standby phase, you know, we, we get Baron is going to activate it. Nah, bro, this is why we're going to activate it in our draw phase. Baron is not going to activate. Ponyx is not going to be returned into hand. We're going to get no effects from Grunix. Nothing from Prince. My guy, we are all good. Nothing is activating. This is one of the best guys we can play into the boards. Because, you know, once you neutralize the graveyard, there's not much they can do. Yeah, they can still play some Yu-Gi-Oh! And even they want to still play the Yu-Gi-Oh! We're going to break them back with a Super Poly. Yeah, so... Yeah, bro. Super Poly works on the deck. What are you talking? Bro, Super Poly works on the deck, right? We have targets like Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Two monsters with the same attribute, but different type. Exactly. These guys are fire. They are fire with different types. So one time you can have a beast on the field. One time you can have a wing beast on the field. One time you can have a pyro monster on the field. They are the same type, but different attribute. Same attributes are, but different times. You, can, you see that means you're going crazy here. And you know what's great about my dragon also? We can change my dragon to a fire type. And then your opponent can attack it because all monsters on the field with the same attribute. So now our my dragon is a fire and they can't even activate their effects to target their own cards how crazy is that i'm telling you bro super paul is great super paul is great and you know evenly match recently got reprinted the chip coming in some structure there. we are all good bro i i i know i i know you have some bad history for leaving the match bro you put that aside my guy bygones be bygones we are now our friend the enemy of your enemy is your friend right that's the same so, so, something along that like you know the card is not even even there's nothing even about this card we can banish all the cards face down it does not destroy we, that's what we want we do not want to destroy these guys yeah yeah i know they, 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 they are some fetish for destruction yeah bro you know that's some crazy fetish these days come on we're in 2024 it's crazy things happening every day <laughs> it's crazy things happening every day so we are all good yeah yeah I know. okay yeah you're right bro fire king island is a problem i am aware of that and you try to destroy it. no bro you cannot play happy it's happy it's just gonna be protected by sanctuary and they're gonna destroy one of the other cars which is just gonna snowball to something else so this is where cosmic cyclone comes in junior drop phase whenever time you activate cosmic cyclone into the boards when you play first, it change effect or whatnot. We are all good. But when this card is banished or destroyed, it destroys all monsters in the field. It destroys all monsters in the field. We are all good. It's not protected. You know, when somebody, they, they, they bought the Appaloosa or SP Knights or some crap like that. You know, but we are getting rid of this friend. I, I know. Oh my God. Yeah. What? Oh my man. This guy, bro. All right. Preventative measures. Okay. I know. It, it's prevention is better than cure right i understand prevention is better than cure that is fine this is why we're gonna draw them I mean, we are gonna draw on our first activation of adding a card to your hand they are getting draw bro draw is your best friend i'm like not nah, bro you mean you only run free draw. oh my god bro i play six draws yeah is it legal i don't know <laughs> i just don't want it to draw I just don't want it to play Yu-Gi-Oh, man. And to some extent, Droll really helps. All right, you don't see Droll, then there's Ash. But you just have to be careful on where you activate the Ash. But the only sad thing about Ash is, ah, man, these guys play the Eater and they kind of basically use your Ash. So your kind of Ash is like a double-edged weapon. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. All right, one other card I noticed that is crazy good. Because, you know, despite all what this deck does, most hand trap you throw at it, it's gonna stick, right? Nibiru is still a thing. Yeah, they do in on Appaloosa sometimes, but bro, that's like the what, hundredth summon. Appaloosa is gonna come in the field. Yeah, so so why, why not? You know, just gotta time your Nibiru good, and and and, and we all set. So it's, it's imagine you have all these board breakers and graveyard disruptors along with a Nibiru come bro we are bro. and all these cards are dirt cheap man dirt cheap yeah check out tcg play you're gonna see the dirt cheap i'm telling you my guy we got this bro we <laughs> ggs to the fire guys ggs bro ggs my guy yeah yeah man we'll talk later